Hi, my name is Victoria Velasquez. And I'm Alexia Cielo. And we are the co-founders of Women of Color on Broadway. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are filming a Get Ready With Me Halloween edition featuring MAC Cosmetics. Special thanks to MAC for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring our Halloween campaign. Our looks are going to be inspired by the characters Ursula and Jafar from the musicals The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. Aladdin. So, okay. And also, we're gonna be answering some questions while we do our face. Yes, yeah, so let's just jump into it. So the first product that we're gonna be using is the MAC Prep and Prime. We're both gonna use this to prime our faces before things get started. We went on Instagram and we asked a bunch of you guys to send us some questions, anything that you had for us personally or for our nonprofit. And the first question you guys asked was, how did Women of Color come about? You can start that one. You want me to tell the story? Yeah, go ahead, tell the story. Okay. <laughs> so it was 2018. Alexia and I were both graduating from college. I went to NYU when she went to New York Film Academy. I was studying music business and Alexia was studying musical, musical theater, theater and film. And this was probably around like May, because the show was in June. And she was just talking to me about her concerns about finding work um, in the Broadway community because she felt like every time she talked to her teachers or her friends, it was going for the same roles either in The Color Purple or Hamilton or, you know, it was just the same thing for everyone. Uh -huh. And she was- Everyone of color was the same. Yeah, she was really stressed about it. And I was just like, you know what? Let's let's look for a way to relieve, relieve this stress and was like, we should do a show. We should do a tribute concert. So mm -hmm. our first show was on June 29th, yeah. 2018 at Don't Tell Mama. It was called the Woman of Color on Broadway Tribute Cabaret. It was 60 people in the venue. Alexia did the entire show. By myself, All... 11 o'clock numbers, one after the other. Yeah, we're crazy like that. I thought I was gonna enjoy that, but I didn't. <laughs> it was lit though, it was really good and everyone loved it and then everyone kept asking, what's next, what's next, yeah. what's next? And then one show came after another. And next thing you know, we're at 54 Below, the Mittens Playhouse. Yeah. And just recently we just did a show at the Great Hall Cooper Union and that was our biggest show yet. We had over 800 people at the venue and it was filmed by All Arts TV. So, and throughout that time, it just, the word nonprofit just kept coming yeah, about, coming it was, about. It just naturally came up. Yeah. I'm going to use the Max Strobe Cream and Pink Light. And um, yeah, so we've been developing the show and along with that, working on our education program for female college students of color. Mm. And that's how Women of Color Broadway came about. Yeah. So to conceal my face, I am using the Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the shade NC45. And it's already on, so it blended really, really, really well. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Yeah. Open my phone. I finished priming my face for real, for real. So I'm going to go into my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC50. Oh, that's the one I used for a show I did. Like, that stays on really, really well. Like, you can sweat and it's not going to break through either. I like this one. It yeah. matches my skin the best. The second question is, I was at your last show at Cooper Union and the first one at Don't Tell Mama. What is the secret to success and growth when doing a show like Women of Color on Broadway? Oh, that's a good question because it's not like it's a show that, it's a cabaret, meaning it's the same group of songs basically, at least our first version, which we did like three or four times, right? Mm -hmm. What is what is the secret? I don't know. So the key, the key to putting on good shows is oh. ambiance and surrounding yourself with good people. And adaptation. Are just as hungry as you are, yes. Just adaptation. as hungry as you are, 100%. So what I'm using as my foundation is the Studio Fix Liquid Foundation in the shade NC50. And this blends out really well too. I hope my face is not a different color than my neck right now because I'm losing my tan from the summer. I forgot to blend the foundation in my cleavage, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Your cleavage? Ursula has cleavage. She does body language. Body language. So I'm going to conceal now with the Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the shade NC48. Right. Can you open this one? My hands are slippery. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, like these? She'll teach on my We have the same. <laughs> it's okay. You'll survive. Mm -hmm. Is that mine? No, it's mine. Oh, but the same. We're not the same shade, sis. Don't be looking crazy. It's hard to like do this while talking because I focus so hard when I do my makeup. Because we are not makeup artists. I'm kind of like 
<laughs> no, we can say that. We are not makeup artists. No. We're just girls who like to beat our face. If you want to see makeup tutorials by makeup artists, go watch the other four videos yes. of our girls. They're both, they're all between ages 18 and 25. And they're legit. They're, and they're legit. And their looks, if you want costume realness for like Halloween night, go watch their videos. This is like looks inspired by characters, mm -hmm. but like, it's like date night, or it's a night out with the girls, but this is not a costume. Like yeah. Lexi said, we know our lanes. Studio Fix Power Plus Foundation in shade NW50 um, as my little contour fix. Well, I told you, just stop here. I am stopping there. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna I'm do too much. You. Okay. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not playing a cartoon character. Oh well, I kinda am. Okay, let's move on to the next question, yes? What was one of your favorite moments you had so far while running this nonprofit organization, business and production-wise? Why don't you say business-wise? Why would you say production-wise? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, you um, go first because I went first last time. Okay, so production-wise, mm, I don't know. Um, I feel like our biggest production so far has been at Cooper Union. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time that I did lighting and did sound designing and did basically, I basically, whatever you saw, like the show, I basically did everything by myself with the help of the team that Cooper Union gave us. Like they were amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, that was my favorite part is like finding out that I naturally had these things in me that I didn't really know. I just did what I, whatever I wanted to see myself as like an audience, I just told them to do that on stage. Like there were so many things that they did on their own and I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, that's not what we want. That's not our ambiance. Like it was, mm -hmm. what they did was cute, but it wasn't us. Um, I didn't really feel like people would under, like feel, we wanted people to walk into the theater and al already know what we're about. Right. So that's that was the whole thing. That was my favorite part was dealing with that. And also having our live band for the last show. The all female band. The all female live band. Mm -hmm. That was so sick that was really sick that, and, and they were dope i'm going to use the studio fix soft matte foundation stick in the shade nw60 to contour my favorite part business wise is i really like when i get to you know meet people in different companies to talk about ways we can collaborate to expand our show and our education program which yeah. starts next year um so for example with mac we spoke with them recently about ways that we can in integrate like special workshop and classes into our education program for females who for young women of color who are interested in pursuing a career in like stage theater makeup or um just is it stage theater makeup or yeah yeah stage make it's stage makeup or theater makeup i put the two words together it is different. but stuff like that and then also with our education program talking to um, CEOs and presidents of union organizations to, you know, talk about how to inform young women about, you know, what unions you should be um, associated with and how can you make sure you can get paid fairly and things of that nature. That's my favorite part because we're really starting to see our vision come to life and yeah. we're working with people to make sure that what we offer is effective as possible and also like even though she is the one who's mostly in charge of the business stuff and i'm the one who's mostly in charge of the anything artistic we do work together on both mm -hmm. so when, i think one of my favorite things is that we discuss everything like everything it's, even down to the educational program mm -hmm. the way that we get to it is that we think about my education and what i went through going to what going to a conservatory like and what did i feel like was missing and i went to a great conservatory like they were mm -hmm. great but there was just certain things that they didn't have access to to teach me and i feel like that's a lot of schools period even universities because there aren't a lot of teachers of color mm -hmm. so a lot of female teachers of color at these schools so um and just with a lot of these artistic institutions there yeah. are just certain lessons that you have to teach black black and brown people when they are inserting themselves into an industry that used to not like them and just and still kind of yeah doesn't, and so. just you know you have to network a certain way you have to present yourself a certain way your whole entire circle or approach throughout your entire career should be different than your other colleagues so yeah. that is something that we want to make sure is inserted into our members, our student members. And it's also hard too because that's not something that you can learn in one class or workshop. Mm -hmm. It's it's literally being out there and experiencing things, which is why 
our education program is so important to us that right. we put people, put our students in situations where they are actually working mm -hmm. with different people, with white people, with black people, with anybody, men, women, with everyone, and know who they right. are in that kind of environment. So, Because the point is to expose them to what their lives is going to look like. Yeah, exactly. It's not to create some It's not to create an circle. unrealistic world yeah. where, like, <laughs> no one exists except for people of color. Yeah. Women of color. So, uh, that's definitely something that's super And shout out to all the men yeah. of color <laughs> and not of color who support, support us. Because there's a lot of you guys who do. By agreeing to, you know, if they work for us, they're, they're completely open to having mentors and mentees to tell them things that they wouldn't have access to otherwise without this education program. Mm -hmm. right. The next product I'm going <laughs> to use is Velux Brown Liner in the shade Taupe. Um, my eyebrows, I slit them myself for like this look for a thing that I was doing. Like a We call them blade brows. They call them br blade brows. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's doing my eyebrows is... Always a project. It's always a project for me. Even though right now they look kind of busted because I haven't done them in, a, in like about two weeks. I'm still blending. She's still, Tori is much slower than I am. I will finish before she does. No, you won't. Me. We'll finish on time. Yeah, whatever. What is it like running a business with your sister? I hate it. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I know. Um, what is it like running a business with you? It's funny because I didn't mean to run a business with her. Like, we've said this before in other interviews and stuff. Women of Color on Broadway is hands down the most impulsive thing we've ever done. 100%. In our lives. Because we think everything through. Right. Before we do it. And before this, our business relationship was always like, she's an artist. And as someone who studied music business, the goal was to either, you know, work somewhere in management or on the side. I run a branding consulting agency and I focused on music marketing. Mm -hmm. So we always thought that's what our business relationship was going to look like. But to be actual business partners where it's completely, to me, it's completely different from an artist management relationship. It it's, is. Um, I think it's rewarding because because we're sisters, we challenge each other in ways that other people simply cannot or probably are fearful of challenging. Are scared to. Like, uh, yeah. when working with family is weird because they can yeah. either go really good or really bad because yeah. of the way you may approach each other or right. communicate or challenge each other. So there might be situations where I, I may say, I don't think we can do this or something like that. And she's like, girl, bye. Which happens all the time. All the time. All the time. To each other. We're very hard on each other, too. But that's just the way Or a lot of the times I have these ideas and I go up to Tori and she's like, that's a big budget. <laughs> <laughs> and she hates me for it, but she's like, I love the idea, but that's a lot of money. And yeah. I'm like, mm, So now oh I'm well. being challenged on like different ways to bring something to life artistically. Yeah. Um, or I would even say with Alexia becoming basically a director... Mm. You know, us working as siblings and with the limited resources we have, that came out of us working as sister and sister and Not saying, having money to have people in those positions. Yeah, you got to figure something out with the likes because I'm not doing it. Yeah, so, the, or we can't afford it to yeah, have anyone else. We don't have the coin to do that, so yeah. guess what, sis? And now she's a director. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Um, what? See, working with Victoria is... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. No, honestly, it's it gets on my nerves a lot, but it's what I need. Sometimes you need people who are just going to check you, you know? And we definitely check each other. So I know I'm using the Velux Brow Liner in the Dark Brunette. Right in the middle of my sister's day. I mean, I said so I know. <laughs> brow. I'm using the Velux Brow Liner in Deep Dark Brunette. Okay, finish okay. your statement. I forgot what I was talking about. <clears throat> Working with me. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Um, Your beloved sister. Girl. Beloved. Um, um, yeah, we definitely push each other. We keep each other in our, in our, we keep each other humble for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and we also really encourage each other because sometimes there's a lot of things that she has to deal with that I don't have to deal with. And there's a lot of things that I have to deal with that she doesn't have to deal with concerning her going to certain meetings with certain people. And I'm not sitting at that meeting with her. Or me working behind the scenes with certain people who don't respect me because I am known as an actor first. Mm -hmm. And they just don't take me seriously when I try to give someone direction because usually I'm the person who's taking direction. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't really like telling people what to do in that way. <laughs> Not I don't like to tell people how to do their jobs. So I, it, at first it was like kind of challenging, but Victoria was like, 
act like you're the boss. Like you are the boss. Like this is mm -hmm. our company. Like you, we worked hard to get here to be able to have people like do our vision right. And I think just knowing at the end of the day, we just want everything to be beautiful and to look great and to be great and for and effective, and for, effective our for our students and for the world period. I think knowing that really like makes us push each other to make sure that we are pushing each other to make sure that that happens. Right. So the next product I'm gonna use is Art Library Flamboyant Palette in colors Rule and Everyone's Darling. So I'm gonna use Rule to basically start the base of my eye and then I'm gonna use Everyone's Darling to like kind of like, we'll call it a cut crease, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to do that effectively. <laughs> It'll look nice. No promises. So we just finished our eyes and we lined our eyes with the brush stroke 24 hour liner. Um, I'm about to put on mascara. I'm using the hot and naughty waterproof flash. Do you like my accent? No. <laughs> I'm using it in the color shockproof black. You do an accent then. Can you do an mm, accent? Yeah, I, no, not if I'm not getting paid for it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Duo Lash Glue that I got from MAC and also the 76 lashes that I also got from MAC. I might have to cut them because my eyes are pretty small, but let's get to it. This is going to be hard. Sick of you and your excuses. Sick of all the talking. Hasn't you the So my lashes are in, I just put them on, and I'm going to move on to putting my mascara on them. So next I'm going to use this, an Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara in 3D Black. I'm gonna set my face with the um, Fix Plus Lavender Spray, and then after that I'm gonna put on my lipstick, and I'll be done. Mm. Someone thought they'll be done before me, but you know what? I have to put on lashes, miss. It's Excuses. A it's a <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. Oh, well, Alexia can't say the word mineralized for some reason, so I'm gonna say it for her. She's gonna highlight with Tiana Taylor's Mineralized Skin Finish, and the shade is in House of Petunia. I'm okay? <laughs> You're crazy. Look at my lashes. Here, Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Lexi. That's not even a dyslexic thing. I can't even blame it on dyslexia. No, it was just me. Okay, I'm gonna put on some House of Petunia. We were rooting for you. I can say that. I can say that. House of Petunia. All right, let's get to our last question. Okay. Can we look forward to any future shows or productions coming soon, even though it's COVID? Oh. <sighs> yeah. Go I'm ahead. not one to gossip. No, don't. <laughs> We don't like speaking too soon. We believe in having a moment for everything, even the announcement. True. And, you know, to be seriously speaking, we're like in very much early stages of what we have coming up because when the shutdown happened, I will say a lot of other people, like we said earlier, were throwing out just a lot of content, but we felt that it, it wouldn't be effective for us to do that. We wanted to, you know, do something where if something comes out, there's a meaning behind it, there's a purpose behind it, and it has some kind of effect for the people watching and, you know, our future student members. So yes, there is something coming. We are producing something both for the organization and for the education program. Yes. And even if, if that wasn't the case, we're going to look out for our education program launching next year. Yes. But yes, there is something coming. Um, I'm going to do my lips now. I am using the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Night Moth, and I'm going to use their new um, powder liquid lipstick in the shade Make Love to the Camera. And I'm going to be using a lip liner called Chestnut from MAC, and then I'm going to be putting on the gloss that is called Lip Gloss. Okay, well, I'm about to use the same finishing spray. 
This is this isn't that, is it? No, it's not. Oh, it's a little bit of a shine, which can't be too much because it's too close. Oh, too close, too close. Oh. Yeah, oh, I actually, sister. I actually, huh? You lucky you're my sister. You're lucky you're my sister. You're welcome. All right, so now we completed our whole entire little makeup looks. Uh, we're gonna put on our. I'm not gonna say costumes because they're not costumes. We're gonna put the look together for you guys mm -hmm. and come right back. So let's do that. You know I've been missing you, baby. Ain't been kissing you, baby. No sing dissing, but lately words have been matching your actions. I've been feeling no passion, and this is what you've been lacking. I shouldn't be asking for you to me what you say. And say Okay, these are our final looks put all together. Again, mine was inspired by Jafar from Aladdin and hers was inspired by Ursula from Little Mermaid. I think these looks came out really, really cute. Really cute. I will wear these out. Well, I will wear all of this out somewhere. I will wear this too. So whatever costume you put together for Halloween, whether it's, you know, to go to a big costume party or a girl's night out, just make sure it matches your personality. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to MAC Cosmetics again for sponsoring this video and our entire Halloween campaign. Don't don't forget to click subscribe to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and if you want to support our nonprofit organization and see other cool projects like this, you can visit our website www.womenofcolorandbroadway.org to donate or buy one of our t-shirts. Anything yes. from the online store supports our education program. So thank you so much again. Have a happy Halloween and we'll see you later. Bye guys.